G'day, this is Lucia. Welcome to my art channel. In today's video, I'm participating in the Poor Remembrance Day collaboration arranged by the wonderful Nathan Linzel from The Fine Art of Distraction. It runs for seven days with 52 artists participating. I'm excited and privileged to be part of this collaboration painting alongside some talented artists. You would have just seen the amazing Heather Aldo before me. If you didn't catch her or yesterday's lineup, do yourself a favour and go back to check them out. They are a fantastic bunch of artists. For this collaboration, we are to pick any Defence Force uniform and use the colours from that to do our interpretation of a camouflage painting using any art technique we like. I've chosen the Australian Air Force camo uniform for inspiration, just as my little Teddy from Legacy here is wearing. Teddy is just one of the charity sale items from the Shepherd and Legacy Club where I work. The substrate will be a 30 by 40 centimetre canvas, which I've just made a mess of. My pillow paint is British Paints Low Sheen White. My faux pillow is Torbman's Low Sheen Exterior Plus Liquitex Blue Thylo Cyan Blue. So that's just to give it a little bit of a faux pillow. Then my colours will be Holcroft Paints Grey mixed with iridescent pouring medium from Liquitex. Liquitex Prussian Blue also mixed with the iridescent pouring medium from Liquitex. And that one's got a fair few bubbles because I just mixed it. Prism Pour Blue Velvet. Prism Pour Blue Bonnet. And that has got quite a few bubbles in it as well. Deco Art Shimmering Silver. And finally, Prism Pour Frostbite. They're my colours. Now, I'm thinking that I'm going to do a swipe, but what I might do is put puddles down like you would one of those puddle pour swipes but I'm using thicker paints so I'm going to still use the pillows underneath so here goes
So with the uh, cell activator, which is in Payne's Grey and Titanium White, I am going to give it a bit of a swipe. Liking those cells. I think I've dug in a little bit too deep there, which is not a good thing. Did have my swiper on the slant, but unfortunately, it just went down a little too deep. All right, I'm going to start tilting to the edges and see how I go, hey? Okay, I'm thinking that that's what I wanted. <laughs> okay, let me have a look. Yeah, I'm liking that. As many big cells as I was hoping for, but I do like that it's still got the cami effect to it. And some pretty cells in there and there. Nice ones there. Let's make sure I don't um, drip on that. Let's see what it's like when it dries. It's as close as to Teddy as I'm going to get, I think. I think some of the blues are a little bit brighter, but they do dry darker. So once it dries, it might match a little more, I think. I don't mind it. I can't say I love it. <laughs> I don't mind it. Yeah. See how she goes, hey? Got so much paint on here. I think I actually actually put way too much paint on this. Hopefully it won't crack. I'm going to add some ribbons. Should I or should I not? Should I just leave it as is? 
should I, should I not? If I do, it'll be what I pick up off the, on there, I think. I don't know. I think I kind of, mm, some bits I don't like. liking that there are aspects of it that I like there are aspects that I don't which is always the case when I do a swipe yeah I like that it still has that kind of camo effect to it I just don't like that bit there and I don't have a dark enough bit unless I go into the paints itself because I don't want to wreck it and I may have to spin some more to get some paint off some more paint off as close as I'm going to get to straight and I'll give that a spin I'll bring you down and give you a close-up look and here she is and it's full glory my camo Air Force camo tribute just bring you down close I'm a bit disappointed that that didn't turn into lacing it would have been lovely if it had oops Love that shimmer. Adding the uh, iridescent pouring medium in those opaque colours has certainly made it much shimmery, much more shimmery. The only thing missing in this is frost, but it didn't go with the colours that I'd chosen. I reckon the frost would have been awesome, would have given it that silver look for sure. But we've got the actual silver in this, so... But I reckon that that frost would have probably come out even prettier. The frost bite's pretty cool in that. Interestingly, what colour was that? I'm not sure what colour that was. It's given it kind of a, oh, it might have been the Payne's Grey. Not sure, but something has given it a bit of a green effect to it, which is not really what's in the Air Force camo. I'm not sure what it is that's given it that look. Could be the paint's grey and maybe it looks green on camera, but it's not green when you look at it, the painting itself. 
which is interesting. I didn't think Payne's Grey would give it green effect. It would give it a blue effect for sure, blue-black. Anyway, that's it. I love those cells. The ghosties there. Some more ghosties there. Yeah, the cells aren't all that exciting. I was hoping for more more excitement as far as the uh, swipe was concerned. They're kind of cute in there. But there's not in there. They're kind of cute. They're very small. That's the only thing. And there. Um, yeah, nothing exciting. I like that it still kept its camo effect. But I was hoping a bit more excitement in the swipe, like bigger cells perhaps. And that didn't happen. But, you know, that's that's the breaks. If you enjoyed my video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload the next video. I would love to hear your thoughts about my Australian Air Force camo uniform. Did I portray it well? And I'd love to thank... Nathan Linzel from the Fine Art of Distraction for letting me participate in uh, this collaboration. Stay tuned as up next is the vivacious and amazing artist Kayleen Simmons aka Bubbles from Venom Fluid Art. Check her out, she's amazing. Stay tuned also for the wet and dry results and the Ode to Remembrance. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. Thank you.